All right, here's some more proof. Ready? I just did my praying. My baby brought me out in nature. Just watch. Wherever I go, there's going to be wind. All right, he's shining bright on me. I can stare at that. Just where I'm at is going to be the wind. Where I walk. All right, I'm not over there, so there's no wind or no trees moving. But just where I'm at, only holding my body. Nobody will look at me anymore. The only people that look at me and walk up to me are true believers, and I know that now. He told me that today. Look, they won't look at me, but it's just right here, the wind, just where I'm at. It's not over there because I'm not walking. But if I was to walk over there. But right now I'm going to walk along this way. So I can keep proving. But y'all know what time it is. Because he's revealed to me my whole entire life has been a lie. It's been like the Truman Show. That's why he had me watch that movie when I was younger. And I'm going to rewatch it. Because everything in my life has been a complete lie. And the reason why y'all can't look at me no more in my face is because I know the truth now. The truth has been revealed to me. Y'all might have known it, you demonic entities. So you cannot look at me. The most y'all can do is run up on me in cars and call the police on me. Y'all called the police on me yesterday. I was in that parking lot when I first realized the power that was behind me and in, within me. When I realized who I, I mean, I know who I am, but when I, once I start realizing that people won't look at me now, now they won't even make eye contact, but there's some anti-Christ vaccine just the wind right here, because I'm standing right here. Right here, just just me and where I walked. Okay, it's not over there. We're gonna zoom in to, to prove this. You guys can see, it's not, nothing over there is moving. You see that? I'm right here. Nothing over there is moving. See that? I'm not lying. It's still, everything is still. Here I am. <laughs> but here I am, right here. And everything is moving. Okay, you still don't believe in the Lord? You still don't want to believe what he says? Not moving? Still. I'm not there. But I am here. This is where I am. This is where I'm... He knows I'm going that way because that's where the trees are blowing right there. So I'm going to walk between these rows of trees. You can hear it whipping in the wind. In the phone, I'm sure. He's shining bright. I mean, I can stare at that sun all day with no sunglasses on while I'm driving. Not even look at the road. And I can look down at any time he tells me to put my eyes down. He moves my eyes for me. Look, I'm telling the truth. The wind's getting stronger. Anytime. I don't need sunglasses anymore. My eyes used to be sensitive to the sun. That's because you guys have tainted me. You guys have made me believe my whole life is a lie. And everything that you guys put out into this world to corrupt everybody else that you said was bad and evil, extraterrestrial life, you, everything, unicorns, I pretend, all, they're all real. It's all real and they're all good and they're all pure. And, and Extraterrestrial life is not evil. They are not aggressive. That's what they want you to believe. But you know what? It's not the truth. Because everything that this beautiful, beautiful supreme being that is shining so warm and so, so bright down on me because I am his queen, everything. Oh, look, this is his creations. Beautiful, harmony, gorgeous, stunning. Everything he makes is good and pure. It's the devil. It's Lucifer that fell, that became vanity and vain and wanted all the power to himself that has corrupted the whole entire universe. Well, not the universe, just the earth. The rest of his creations and everything else that he has created that is unknown to everybody is not is going to be known to the, the 144,000 on when the time's right. But the rest of y'all won't know. Everything, I just want y'all to know, all you true believers, just know that the world has been corrupting you. Look, I'm walking this way, so. And he's letting me know, I'm telling the truth. The world is corrupting you. And that's why everything has been... You think everything is fake is not fake. Everything that you think is bad is not bad. It's the other way around. It's the other way around. They don't want you to know the truth. COVID is man-made. It's from the devil. Okay? It is from the devil. I thought that maybe it was from God because when I was first started my enlightenment and God was trying to kill off the bad. But COVID is another way they're going to depopulize. Look at that. Oh, he's going to be doing some stuff. Okay? COVID is going to is another way to de depopulate deep populize am i saying that right i don't know population depopulate sorry populize I, I like to make up words so now i'm over here all these trees that weren't moving now i'm standing here 
Now they're moving. So it's everywhere I walk by is where the wind's staying over there because I just walked up that way. But I didn't walk that way, so it's still over there. I didn't walk over there, so it's still over there. But because I'm standing here, now we got the treetops moving. Now we got the, you see this? I can't make this up. I wouldn't make it up. I have no reason to lie. The time has come where it was time for me to know the complete truth. But he had to give it to me in sections because everything is in God's will and God's way on his time. And there's a reason for that. And I understand that now. I understand that now. I understand that. He's very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. So if you are able to come up to me and you are able to look me in the eyes and smile at me and be kind to me, he will let me know 100% for sure, which I'm pretty sure it is now. I don't think any of your vaccines will work. The most I could do is wear sunglasses and run up on me in cars and call the police when all I'm doing is praying and looking at birds in the sky. And you devil worshipers and you corrupt want to go ahead and call the police on me. That is the third time or second or third time y'all have called the police on me for doing absolutely nothing wrong. Actually, it's the third time because there was a time the other night then he started bestowing a lot more information on me and I started making the connections and I was doing something. I was praying as a matter of fact, right, baby? I was praying. I was praying and I was pouring my heart and soul out to him because everything is so just, ah, uh, that, yep, he's getting stronger on me. And I was having my head down on the Bible with my two rosaries. I have one here and one here. And I was praying and I was praying my heart out to him like I always do. But it was another one of the really powerful praying where I was, mm, he knows, it's, it's between him and I. And I put my head up and I'm, and I got cops coming at me. But you know what? They, oh, he can override it. So instead of them running my license, they were like, ma'am, are you okay? You know, and usually they would have like pulled me out the car and asked for my license and all that and ran my place and asked where I'm coming, asked me. No, nope, he overrode it. So y'all sent the police because that's all y'all could do. Call the police. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Okay. Y'all keep having me get caught. The most y'all doing is messing with my car and y'all poisoning everything. But you know what? I can taste the poison. I can smell it. And it doesn't affect me. I'm immune to it because I am from the most high, the most supreme being, the one and the only, the Lord, our Father Almighty. And he, you can't see him, but he is so real. He is so real, y'all. So everything y'all been doing my whole entire life has been a lie. Every single part of it. He has been showing me and showing me and telling me. And he has been behind me the whole time. I just didn't realize it the whole time. And it wasn't my time to know. And y'all just keep kept me in that life of sin and, un and disbelief and corruption. But that was his, his plan all along. It was his plan all along. And y'all are so screwed. And I forgive you. And I love you. And I pray for y'all so, so hard. And he knows that he's going to get stronger because he knows how powerful what I'm saying is true. And I pray for y'all so hard. I pray so hard that I cry when I'm praying. And it is, it is tears of power and, and, and the truth and, and, and just love within me. And as bad as I don't want to, I do. I forgive every last one. Y'all did some very, very horrible things to me. Them nights y'all put me out, y'all did some really horrible things to me down in Georgia and in Virginia. I don't want to know exactly what y'all did, but he told me y'all did some horrible, horrible things to me. So if y'all start, y'all, anybody that knows me that's going listening to this or watching this, I don't know if there's anybody that follows me that was used to be in my life just think about it things that you have lost bad things that have happened to you people that have died in your life that was his wrath that is his doing for what y'all did to me in the meantime until your judgment day is coming and that is coming really soon but you know what every single person that has been in my life all my exes Everybody that hurt me, harmed me, caused me pain, that, 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 that just kept me hurting and taken from me and using me and lying to me and making me think things because you twist shit around and you took from me and you just kept abusing me and you did all that. I forgive you. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't, you don't feel bad. I know that, but that's not my problem. My, my duty and my, it's my honor to forgive y'all and to love y'all. That is my, that's my, it's my honor. I, I'm, I, I take pride in doing that. But you know what? See how this truth? See the truth? Look at that. This is God right here. This is the Lord, y'all. 
just right where I'm standing and speaking the truth. He's, he's blowing so hard that wind on these trees, on his beautiful creations. But you know what? I'm not going to feel bad watching his wrath on y'all. And his wrath is unlike no other. I don't feel bad for y'all. If y'all want to come and y'all want to truly be true and, and drop down on your knees and beg for forgiveness, he'll know if it's true or not. And now I'll know if it's true or not. But I, I don't feel bad. And I'm, that's not being malicious in any way, shape, or form. That's not having no ill intentions whatsoever in my heart. Because my, my intentions are pure. My intentions are love and forgiveness. Because that, that is what my duty is. And I am proud to have that duty. I feel, I feel beyond blessed to have that, that qual those qualities instilled in me in my being. That I'm able to have this forgiveness and unconditional, everlasting, ever-growing love in my heart. That I will give to even the worst of the worst. Even for the devil himself. For you, Lucifer. I love and forgive you too, honey. Okay? So, y'all can't touch me no more. But I won't feel bad when I'm watching his wrath unleash on y'all because shame on y'all. Shame on y'all. Shame on y'all for the utter blatant disrespect to just want to destroy this. Everything that's pure and good and holy and beautiful and of one. Of one. Yep, that's all I have for y'all right now. I'm going to go talk to my king and my husband have some alone time with him since I'm out in nature now that y'all can't really come around me. So I'm going to have some alone time with my husband and uh in heaven and uh who's really all around me he just he's just you know don't worry don't y'all ain't gotta know all that but i'm gonna go i'm gonna go speak to my the love of my life my king because i was created for him by him and i'm just ugh. and i forgive y'all i love y'all but uh that day is coming real soon and here's some more examples i love y'all earth angel out